Not many people think that a house fire can happen here. Well, my family was among those people that believed that. Except for on February 15, 2017, my house started on fire with just, um, with just my five family members home. It was my little brother who was five years old, my little sister who was 13, and my cousin who was 10 years old. My mom, my dad, and I were all at work when it all happened. So I am going to go over how to prepare for a house fire, possible ways to recover, and my personal experience. Many ways you can prepare, which is like checking your wiring and clutter throughout your house. You don't want your wire to be like broken or anything because a spark can easily happen. And if you have crowding around that, it can start a fire right away. You want to also have a plan for having a fire because um, if you don't have a plan, then you panic right away. And you don't want to panic because if you do, then your mind just goes blank and you don't know what to do. At my old house, we did have a plan. We had a meeting spot and everything, except for um, this time at my new house, we didn't have a plan. We didn't have an escape route or anything. So um, when it did happen, my siblings were all upstairs and my little brother ended up pushing a tub that was by the stove onto the stove and it turned the burner on. Well, they went back upstairs to play hide and go seek and they weren't prepared for a house fire. Well, these are some easy examples of of having an escape route. Most families do meet by like a local, not a local, but like a nearby tree. You have to have it like far enough away from the house so then you're still not in danger. There's some easy ways which are just like labeling where it is. It doesn't have to be complicated. Or there's this where it says, oh, here's the table, the couch, and you can just assume which rooms are which. I recommend the easy one that way you don't get confused. You also want to um, practice these. That way, when it does happen, you know exactly what to do. And practicing these like yearly, sometimes monthly, is very helpful. Um, ways to recover was, um, we had a lot of support from our family and community. And we don't really talk to many people in our town. And it was very surprising how many people came together when this happened. Um, our school, which my two siblings go to, and all my other siblings, which I have two older brothers, we all went to that school, and we didn't really, we don't really have a good experience there because there's a lot of bullying that happened. But when um, this happened, a lot of people came together. Like the staff did a donation envelope, and they raised over six hundred dollars for us. We also had a GoFundMe <coughs> page set up that was set up for my brother's girlfriend, and we raised over a thousand on that. Except for with the GoFundMe, um, there's 7.5% that's taken out of it. So you don't really get the 100% of the donations that are given to you. Family was a big support of all. We had many of our family members come up and um, take us shopping and help us get <coughs> things for our new house that we ended up getting. And we were lucky with that because it was four days after or a house fire that it that we found a place to live in. This was my experience. These are some of the pictures from the house. This is the uh, upstairs. It this picture was taken from my bedroom. There's a hole right there that goes downstairs. That's the bedroom. This was the countertop that was on the counter space. That was the island. Here's the bathroom. Here's a hole that goes downstairs to the living room. And then here's another picture. There's my bedroom and it's just all city. So here was the downstairs and then another picture of my bedroom. Here is a picture to show 
show how the difference is between the normal uh, the TV stand and then what it looked like after the fire. And then the stairwell that goes downstairs, the color was originally cream colored, but in there it's completely gray. It looks like they just painted right away. Um, this was the kitchen, not the kitchen. Um, that's the living room. It kind of makes our couch look like a minty ice cream color, um, but it was dark brown. I don't know if you can see very well, it's so light. But then there's the hole that goes downstairs, and there's the countertop. Yeah. And so I went over how to prepare with the escape routes and plans, and when you should plan them, and then how to re recover in my personal experience.